Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can calculate the week over week change and with that I realized that I have not changed this. Okay, so week over week change is very important to understand the metric like quarter over quarter change, year over year change. But the problem is this week on week change is not present here directly what date hierarchy gives us is only year, quarter, month and day. It doesn't give us week. So we have to apply some more calculations to calculate the week over week change. So for that, I will show you in two step process or basically three step process uh, to finally get the percentage calculation of how much you are changing from week to week. Okay. Before that, if you have landed very first time on my channel, then let me show you one thing which you should be aware of about this Google Sheet for which the link is present in the description. An idea behind this is that all of my published videos are present over here. That means you can come here, search any of my videos very easily related to Power BI and then using the link that is provided in column B, you can jump onto that video. So make sure you save it, bookmark it and use it whenever you need it. All right, let's go back to Power BI. Okay, so over here we have this. Now we don't have V, which is which we need from as part of hierarchy. So what do we do? We come over here in this data and we click on the new column. Using the week num function, we will going to create the week. So week equals to week num, right? And in the week num, what we will going to do is specify the order date, date, right? Comma one or two, I think one indicates that uh, week is starting on Sunday or two indicates on Monday, but make sure you, you uh, if this is a specific requirement for you that week should start from Sunday or Monday and make sure you check the documentation. I'll go with the one which is a default option. Okay. So what do we have? Why it is giving you an error? Uh, week parameter is of not correct type. Okay. I am choosing only the one which you are giving me. But anyways, it is giving me the correct output which is present here. All right. Now, once we have this, we can go back here and then start producing our calculation. So our calculation is basically like if I show you, this is my week. And if I put this week over here, you can see, you know, all of these uh, different weeks, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way till like whatever 53 weeks that you are having, usually 52 or 53 weeks. So in week one, you have 10 order, week two, you have six order, week three, you have four order, so on and so forth. And we want to see from week to week if a change is happening and what is a percentage of that change. So this gives us basically the week, the latest week change. Now to calculate the change, I need to bring 10 in front of six. So I can say six minus 10 divided by 10 is basically give me the percentage. Similarly for here, four minus six divided by six, give me the percentage that how much it is decreasing or 5 and 9, 9 minus 5 divided by 5 will give me the positive percentages. So for that iterative calculation, I need to create a new measure, which is basically for the last week. So I will create a calculation for last week, which is basically your calculate function and distinct count of order IDs. Now, in this case where retail is present, you are, I'm having order. If you are, let's say, analyzing IT data, you may have incident IDs or so and so forth information. Idea is that we want to, uh, we want to basically analyze the week over week change. And when in the filter, we are saying week equals to whatever is the latest week, max week, right? Minus one. And then we close this. So, if it is week three, week two for week one, there will be nothing because this is where the week is starting from week six to week five. So if I just press this, it will give me the last week information, which is present here and I can bring it over here, which will give me in front of six, 10, six value is coming here. Four value is coming here. Five value is coming here. So it becomes an iterative process with the help of this calculation. With that, I can calculate the percentage between these two. So six minus 10 divided by 10 will give me that negative percentage as how much decline in the growth I'm having week over week. So I click on new measure, which is nothing but uh, WOW percentage, week over week percentage. 
So we use the divide function and the numerator is our um, so we have uh, we have the numerator which is uh, distinct count sorry distinct count of order id right uh, comma denominator sorry minus the previous week or the last week right comma de denominator is the last week okay this is usually your change percentage calculation okay once i have this week over week change percentage what i can do is bring it over here and if you see, if I change this to a percentage, you will see the negative 40%. From 4 to 5, positive 25%. 5 to 9, positive 80%. 9 to 12, positive 33%. 12 to 6, negative 50%. So this is a percentage that you are expecting. And with the help of these couple of formulas, we can very easily create week over week calculation, plot the trend, create a table or visualization, whatever we need. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next, next video with a new topic.